In the third of our series on weeds with Dr. Randy Anderson, he helps us understand how we can use crop diversity to take advantage of the benefits of no-till weed management. If you haven't done so already, we do recommend you review the first two videos in this series. Now here's Dr. Anderson. For this example, I'd like you to consider a soybean corn rotation. So in soybeans you have weeds that escape control, they grow, they produce weed seeds and drop them to the soil surface. If you grow corn the next year, you would have 100 seedlings in your till and 88 in your no-till. However, if you diversify your rotation, such as you add cool season crops, oats or winter wheat, what you do is you push corn from here over to here. Now the benefit of these is the growth periods of these are so much different than what it is for soybeans and corn. You have more opportunities to prevent those plants from producing weed seeds. For example, if you have like redwood pigweed that takes off in soybeans while you harvest these before it complete its growth cycle to produce seeds. And so you prevent any seeds from being added to the system and therefore you move corn over here and get the natural decline with time. But there's another benefit too. If you go back to our original example of soybean and corn, you would be growing corn in year number one. If you considered the diverse rotation, you'd be growing corn in number three. The key point here is when you're in a corn soybean rotation, if you were in till, you would have 100 seedlings in your field, your designated area. If you're in this diverse rotation where you had cool season crops inserted into the rotation, you moving corn over to growing season three, in an no-till system, you'd have only four seedlings. In other words, you went from 100 down to four. Even before you applied a herbicide, you've reduced your weed density in your field 96 percent. Exa examples like this is why producers are reducing their herbicide use in no-till. The key point is you need to develop a rotation that taps into time. The cool season crops help you do that. We hope you understand that from a weed management perspective, no-till and diverse rotations are powerful tools in your toolbox even before you use the first drop of herbicide. And more tools in your toolbox means hope and a level of control in the situation, especially in this very scary world of herbicide-resistant weeds. So what's next, Buzz? Well, let's see how our most progressive farmers have taken advantage of these principles and put them to work. See you soon. <laughs>